YouTube, this is another QAZWSX2541 Blender tutorial. Welcome back to the FPS tutorial. This is going to be covering how to make a uh, sort of heads up display, or at least a very basic one. Um, of course, you can get really creative with this and make it look really nice for your game in particular. So, the first thing we're going to do is open up Blender. This is using 2.63a and we're going to open up our game file. Now whenever we left off we had we can move around, we can shoot the different cubes, and we can reload. And our ammo runs down to zero whenever we reach zero. We can't shoot anymore. So to start out with our GUI we're going to model up or get some models made up. One model, actually, a uh, bullet model. So I'm going to go to the third layer here, and then I'm going to hit Shift A. I'm going to add a cylinder. Reduce the vertices down to about eight, because we don't need that many. It's going to be really small. Um, we can scale it way down, and then I'll scale it along the z-axis, enter edit mode, and we're just going to hit control R, add a loop about there, add another one really close above that one, and add another one right above that last one. I'm just going to select that middle one and scale it in a little bit. It gives that little, little ring, I think that's a little bit too high up the bullet, or up the shell there. So there we go. Uh, next up at the top here, we're going to select the top part, hit E. We're going to scale this in, so press S, scale it in. E, vertical, and then we're going to hit alternate M and merge at center. And there you've got a basic bullet shell. You'll be able to tell where it is from a distance. So what we're going to do is we're then going to add some materials. So we're going to click Add New Material uh, in the Material buttons here. This one will be kind of a yellowish gold color. Then we're going to add another material to the object, add a new material altogether, and make this a really dark gray one. And then we're going to select the top part there and hit Assign. So there you've got the a very basic bullet. Now, um, normally with GUIs you would probably use a texture instead of an actual model, and sometimes you may not even use this to indicate a uh, bullet count. So, anyway. So now we're going to move that to our main scene, so uh, select it, then click M, select the first layer. Then we're going to go back into our first layer. We're just going to scale this guy down way down oops and put them right in front of your camera now switch to your camera view there we can see our bullet grab him move him over here scale him down and one more thing we're gonna switch these materials that are on the bullet to be shadeless then we're gonna go to the physics buttons here select no collision, that's very important because otherwise your character will go flying all over the place. So now whenever we move the camera we have a little bullet that follows along. So I'm going to move the bullet to about there, scale it down a little more. And then I'm going to duplicate it a few times just for, you know, sort of standard, you know, old style FPS game. Um, so next we're gonna next I'm going to add a backdrop to this so we're gonna hit select one of the bullets, hit shift S, cursor to selected, then shift A, add mesh plane. We're gonna scale this way down and rotate on the x-axis to get it aligned with the camera. So we're gonna do RX90. Scale it down even more. Grab it to where the top of the bullets are just under the plane there. 
and our edit mode we're gonna stretch this guy out to the side here a little bit and we're gonna hit E scale it down E scale it down e, one more time scale it down so we get kind of this curved edge there you can make I mean this is where a lot of the customizing sort of comes in to play where you could uh, do whatever you want there uh, then we're gonna of course physics button set no collision um, control P if you're having problems with your dot blend file like the players f after this tutorial if the players like flying off the screen or something or jittering or going crazy check all of these objects make sure they all have the no collision thing set um, anyway so now we're gonna add a material to this guy we're gonna do pitch black we're gonna go down here to transparency we're gonna check mark that set alpha down to I believe about 0.4 and a little more than that about 0.58 looks good excuse me then we're going to add in our gun clip so we're gonna select start selecting the gun clip so just select all of the vertices that make up our gun clip here and eventually we will probably want to separate this make it a separate object from the gun altogether but what we're going to do is hit now once we have all the vertices selected hit shift D then hit P separate by selection then select the new gun clip model shift select the backdrop we have here hit control J and that's basically just simply to get rid of any links to animation the gun clip has so now we're gonna go into edit mode for the backdrop there and select the gun clip again now hit P by s selection and we should be good so now select the gun clip and origin geometry to origin so now we can go back to our camera view here and we can see our gun clip model is there so now we're going to rotate it on the z-axis I believe 90 degrees is good I'm going to scale him down and I'm going to also duplicate him just move him over there make sure these guys should all be on no collision and they are I'm gonna give ourselves some more space here on the backdrop so I'm just gonna go into edit mode and stretch that back a little more okay so next we're going to add in our uh, text objects so the so now we're going to hit shift a add uh, text scale it down hit RX90 move it to a good spot backslash it. everything hit X G uh, capital X is good origin to geometry scale them on down I think you can catch on to what we're doing here so material add new uh, again shadeless physics buttons no collision again make sure it's on no collision and parent him to the camera so we're just gonna hit the camera control P and actually that's something else all of these other objects everything needs to be parented to the camera so all of these little gun clips and everything parented to the camera now normally you would want to um, you would want to have a texture for your entire HUD here except for the numbers that are actually counting so now with the X we're gonna hit alternate C and hit mesh from curve made a uh, whatever do the same and then duplicate the X and it looks like he's hiding right behind the plane there we're gonna click on the plane and just drag it back a little bit okay 
So next thing we're going to do is we're going to do Shift A, add plane. And this is where we're going to add in our numbers, so RX90 to get it aligned with the camera. Move it over here, scale it down a bit. And we're going to bring over our second window here. And we're going to switch this to the UV image editor. And we're going to do image, open image. And we're going to go to a text map, blender text, or font map. Uh, download in the description, if I can get that up. Um, speaking of which, as part, as part of... Um, getting rid of some problems that you guys are having I'm going to be I'm going to at least try to upload the most recent dot blend after every tutorial and then you know if you guys are having problems you can download and look at that anyway carrying on uh, select the plane go into edit mode and hit U and do project from view and we're now going to take all of these little edit boxes over here in the um, UV editor and just match it up to the at symbol in the very top right corner this particular font map has two at symbols you want the one in the top right corner We're then going to go to the material buttons for the plane add new shadeless texture buttons we're gonna add a new texture switch it from clouds to image or movie then down here we're going to select the image aerial bd.tga and then switch in mapping we're going to switch it from gener generated to UV UV map and material buttons add or uh, click on text there and then we're going to add a game property and this game property is going to be called text capital T this will be an integer and we're going to get it and we're going to add a sensor it's going to be an always sensor with a pulse we'll put it on two turn on tap add an and controller and then the actuator will be a property actuator it's going to be copy I'm going to select the property text so it'll be copying to the property text from the object and here we will select camera and property ammo so what that'll basically do is copy the property ammo over to the property text which changes what the text says um, so now if we hit P oh, I forgot to parent it and you're about to see an ex a perfect example of what some of some of you may see is I'm flying off flying off the field and that's because this text object was not set to no collision. And if there's something else in there that wasn't set. Something else still isn't set. How do I have to? Okay. So, there you can see it says 15. Now, of course, that looks pretty ugly with the. Uh, white boxes around it so we're just going to check mark transparency and that'll get rid of that so now we have some nice little numbers there sorry about the lag screen recorder I still haven't figured out what I used to use for a screen recorder so that doesn't really help either okay so now we're going to duplicate this guy the text object and we're going to go to the property actuator in the new one this is where the clips are we're just going to change the property to clips so now you see we got a display for bullets which is you know counting down from 15 and then whenever we reload the clips updates i may do a later tutorial where the you know the bullets actually disappear or they actually show the you know number of bullets that you have there um, also another tutorial will be grenades had a suggestion come in for that doing grenades both sticky and uh, well just normal grenades 
so uh yeah from from there it's pretty much just uh pretty much just uh adding you know your own personal touch to it uh making it your own GUI rather than you know some tutorial you followed even though it kind of is I hope not but uh, yeah just add your own sort of personal touch to it whoa that's cool but uh, yeah so you can send me suggestions for future add-ons to this uh, tutorial, this FPS tutorial uh, in the description down below or email them to my uh, support email or private message me here on YouTube. Again, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>